What's up? So I just wanted to show uh, Build System that I made in Sublime Text it is for Super Nintendo or SNES or SNES. It is for the WLA65816 assembler and the WLA linker. Um, this is the assembly code. Um, this is not an assembly tutorial, so don't want to go into it. You'll, I mean, you'll see what it does. Um, and there's some other files, so I don't want to get into it too too deep. Um, so I just wanted to do a quick, quick uh, overview of how things work with the command prompt. If you were to do it without this build system, so okay, so here we are. We open the command prompt, and then we say WLA sixty five eight one six. We want an object, and we want the output of the assembler to be verbose. So V. Then we say main.asm, that's the file, this file here. And then we want to say main, give us main.o, which is the object. So this is all good. So main.o. Um, and then we need to make, for the linker, we need to make a link file. So we do, uh, this is how the linker wants it. And we say main.o. You can do fancy yourself with this, but I haven't really... Uh, Explore that yet? So we say this is main dot link. We got the link there. Go back to the command prompt, and then we say wla link. This is a uh, verbose output, and we want a ROM file, which is default. But I I, don't know, I like to type vr. Um, we say main dot link, which is the link file, and then we want to spit out. Let's just say, uh, let's say SMC. That will be for uh, ZSNES. So that was all good. We got, this is the actual space it's taking up versus what it thinks before. We open this up, and this is what, this is a thing I made, so no copyright, whatever. Uh, so that's what, that's what it's supposed to do. That's good, right? So hopefully you can imagine that if you're doing small changes a lot in a small period of time, that that could be frustrating. So a lot of people are, I mean, I don't know. What I've seen in the past in other tutorials is to, like, do a bat file, which will basically compress all this stuff I just did into, um, you know, you just click a file, which is cool, but, um, delete these. What a build system allows you to do, nope, uh, is, so you can see here, it's the same commands we were putting in before. They're just separated. It just has to be in this JSON format. And then it's going to run in a different uh, emulator because that one is a debugging emulator. So that's easier if you're um, you're in here and you want to see if everything's working right. Uh, okay, so all I got to do here is press Control B. And then you see this is the same output we had before. This is from the assembler and the linker. So it creates those files. I'll do it again. You can watch the file go. Um, it creates the object and the link. And it, it erases them after. Oh, that was too fast. But um, it does create those and then delete them after. So then you open this and you'll see it's the same thing. And then this is this is just a different uh, emulator. It has you know, uh, it shows you the video you know different video things in case you want to see make sure you're doing what you think you're doing. Um. So even cooler than that is that you can have um, you go to tools and you can have a run command. So that's what we have over here. And then I just press Control Shift B and it'll just open it up like that. That's it, y'all. Thanks. Bye.